guys, so I'm back already for another DIY video. Um, I saw one of you requested a while back actually, but I've been wanting to do this DIY for a while. The little strung flags that I have hanging around my room. Um, I'm going to show you what you need, and it's a really, really, really easy DIY. We're just going to hop on into it after I take a drink here. Magazines, or like me, an abundant amount of Urban Outfitters, oh god, Urban Outfitters catalogs, these things seriously are the best thing ever. You'll want some sort of like black or just dark colored thread. This is actually navy blue. I think it's denim, denim thread or something. I don't know, but you see it's dark, looks black. It's, it's gonna work. <laughs> you'll need scissors and then you'll also need tape, which is actually what I just ran out to the store to buy because I wanted to film this DIY and then I realized I didn't have tape. So here we go. Again, I am just going to talk you guys through this. I find that that's the easiest thing to do. So get into it. First, all you're going to want to do is tape up in the corner of your room or wherever you're putting this, um, one of the ends of the thread and bring it to the other side of your room just to see if you, um, you know, need it to be a certain length. Instead of measuring, you just get a really good, quick, general idea of how long you need your string to be. Go ahead, snip it, take it down from the tape and just save that for later. Then you're going to take some of your magazines and Measure how um, how long you want each side of your triangles to be. I don't know how long mine are. You can tell I've done it on this one before. So I just kind of go back and use um, whatever you know size it was before. But it's gonna be an isosceles triangle. So just go ahead and make sure both sides are even. Doesn't have to be perfect. Um, mine on this wall, this longer wall, has 25 on it. And since the wall I'm gonna be doing is just like a foot or so longer, I'm gonna do around 28 and cut them out. I believe I have them spaced around two and a half inches apart. Do whatever spacing you want to do, um, but in case you're curious, that's, you know, how spaced apart mine are. Now, here's the part that's tricky. You're probably going to want to do this on a floor with a hard surface, but you don't necessarily have to. It, I find it easiest if you tape one end of the string in one area and then tape it as far as you can on your surface. If you just have to use a big table or something, that works too. Um, and then you're just going to start measuring and laying out the flags with those, you know, measurements in between. Then you're just going to take your tape. What I find is easiest is just putting the tape on top of each one and then going back when I'm done and flipping the tape under because once you do that, you literally just pick it up and you're done and you just find a place to hang it. And that's where we're leaving off now. So I'm going to show you how to hang it next. All right, hey guys, now to show you how to tape the ends of this. So you're going to want to take a piece of tape and, and get a nice, fairly long clean piece. Make sure your little flags are facing the way you want them to face. Put it down a little bit away from the top and what you're gonna do is wrap it around it and there you go. That way the thread will not just you know slip right from behind the tape when you go to hang it up. <laughs> You may need to add a couple extra pieces of tape just to make sure everything stays in place and doesn't fall. I added like two pieces of tape in each corner, just so you know, but basically that's it. So let me know what you guys think of this DIY. Let me know if you're gonna try it out on your own. And that is all I have for this video. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.